what are we up to? We're on a bit of a pond tour, going around to check out some ponds. Hi, I'm Daniel Taylor from Tailored Waterscapes. We're here on a bit of a tour. This one is in Balulaba on the Sunshine Coast, Australia. It would have been built about a year and a half ago. The basic brief at the start was that they wanted something beautiful and tranquil for the, the front entrance on the way in, um, but also trying to stick with a bit of a Japanese theme. Yeah, so this one is a um, roughly a four by three, four by two kind of pond here. With Working with the space that we had, we kind of used up as much space as we could to get a, a decent sized pond in there. Um, so it starts at the top with just a little waterfall coming in straight out of the biofalls, out of the, the top filter up there. Um, then we've got the pond and then we actually have a, a negative edge on the way out with our waterfalls after the pond. We did do the landscape plants just in the centre section around the pond. The side landscaping and main pathway here was already done. The beauty of this is that there's many different plants that flower at different times of the year. It just brings the whole pond to life. It was interesting because we didn't know what we were getting. We just said to him, get stuck in and see what we get, you know. This is roughly what we want. Not only really surprised, but really pleased as well. I think he delivered what he said he was going to deliver. Really, that's the main thing. A lot of people don't do that. I chose this pond uh, just because it's a, it's a beautiful entryway. Um, and I, I think it really fills out the space that we had to work with. It fills it out perfectly. Um, and, and I feel like it's all very well balanced. Um, which was, which is always a goal when you're designing something like this. So it's something again, very proud of how it turned out, and and um, and I know that the clients are as well. No, you don't have to be a landscaper to to start out to to be a CAC or to even be a, a pond builder at all. Um, it certainly helps in certain aspects of it, but. Um, I'd, I'd say the best thing to do is to start out small. Start out with small pondless systems or small pond systems like this before you start going into swim ponds and bigger projects. There's a, there's a pretty good program and guideline there for people that are looking to start out contracting and getting into the waterscape side of, of things. And the aquascape system is it's tried and tested and the training that is there is is everything you'll need to run a waterscapes business. It's the, the amount of trading that's there, that you, you know, the amount of free stuff that's out there that they'll just give you information and guidelines about how to run a waterscapes business and um, it's, it's pretty much a foolproof system of, of how to get started. Um, and you can, anyone can go start online for free right now, start doing the initial course and, and the training on basic uh, water feature and pond setups. 